So uh, I'm out here in Connecticut at an old airport and uh, found this in the hangar. The 72, what kit was this? I forget what he called it. Um, Arizona? Arizona Trikes? It might have been it, yeah. I think that's the name of it. And uh, I just bought it. It's been parked for a while, hasn't run. Get it going and be good uh, Good Will times with this. Be fun. Will it run? Will it run, guys? You got everything under there. I bet that exhaust is super quiet. Got some old Kragers on here. Chrome's not looking so good. Needs a new seat. Tack. Love the mirrors. The mirrors are just killer. It's gonna need a front brake. I don't know, I might know a guy. That guy, maybe. So, we're gonna get that on the trailer. And, uh, head home. Seventy-two Arizona trike. Let's see if we'll get it running. Yeah, equipped with the hot rod stripes. Must be fast. They're actually done really nice. It's too bad the paint's chipping in places. But we got our uh, luggage rack. Sixty-nine, seventy. 71 tail lights. We got Kragers for wheels. Yeah. Everything's here. It's all complete. So we will get set up here and see what uh, see if she'll fire. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Have oil. Oh yeah. Ooh, smells like fuel. I'd say there might be a problem there. <laughs> All right. Cool. We'll get some tools. Try to, try to get this on the lift. See if I can lift her up. See what we can do. What do you think? See what happens? Whoa! <laughs> She's popping a wheelie. I don't think it's gonna work. There's not enough weight. I could ratchet strap it down. Here, a person behind the camera, push down on that. Top secret cameraman. Pretty high class, that my cameraman. <laughs> In your face, musty one. <laughs> 
How's that? Ooh. Is it super sketchy still? Yes. Mm, that's not working. Mm. It's gotta be held down. Like, down. So like, through here, and like, down. Like, that. Yes! Mm -hmm. Totally levitating. Let's see what we got. It's totally super sketch, but I'm happy with it. I mean, what's the worst that could happen? Gigantic for some reason. Look at all this room. It's glorious. It's really high tech wiring. It's actually not that bad. I would have thought, what's the look at that? Woo! Just woo! Yeah. And then power wire to the zippity zap. Drop the nut. Sorry, most most boring uh, YouTube channel ever. Uh, fuel line. I thought that was against the exhaust. I was like, that is really not good. Oh, the tank's like right there. If you ever get into an accident, it plows that into the <laughs> completely. Um, I'm just gonna get looking at some of the. Oh stuff here let's see wow it's like brand new look at that points look a little fuzzy oh yeah definitely that is an old bake light rotor it's bosch germany that's vintage right there good stuff i think i'm gonna have to clean the points though if you look in there they look a little furry Yeah, those, those don't look good. I mean, maybe we should just pour some fuel down its throat and see if it fires. I mean, why not, right? Never really killed anybody, has it? Stole this from my mom when I was like 16. Those are pretty nasty. They have rust on them. Put that back on. Take that off. Oh, that is a tight clamp. There. Boopity boop boo. Scoobity doo. Probably get some light in there and probably be a little better. But I was saying, it's funny that they use this old oil bath that doesn't have like a sweet, like, chrome oil filter. I mean, air filter. There's no oil in it. We'd be pouring oil all over the ground right about now. Man, last time that was off there. Whoa, she's a shrinking. Yeah. 
Can you see down that carb? <laughs> Let's fill the dirty full bowl. You'll listen for the tinkle. There it is. Look for smoke, okay? Top secret cameraman. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we got a headlight! We got taillights? Wow! We got taillights? Uh. Ah! Bad ground, see? Look at that. There, see? Nah! Volkswagen tuna. Let's see what else we got. What do we got? We got a horn? <laughs> We got, oh. Oh, we have no ignition. Hmm. 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 Let's see what we got on the starter since it's so easy to get to. Oh, I got a big mission on. Well, that's a, that's promising. Smell fuel. <laughs> All right. I don't think we have spark. Let's find out. Now this is easy to change the spark in this car. <laughs> Just ratchet strap it to a lift. <laughs> Levitated in the air. This is why men die before women. <laughs> oh, I would say there's a mouse nest somewhere in this thing. Probably gonna have to take that apart. If you pull it apart... <laughs> oh yeah, you can feel it up in there. Yeah, oh yeah. All right, those are a little smoked, but... Let's see if we get some spark. All right. Ready? Keep hearing that plastic on the thing, that sounds like something melting. Oh yeah, we got power. All right, now that we got power, let's see if we got spark. Those points didn't look, pretty, they didn't look very good. Ready? <laughs> We have no spark. It's always nice when you spread your tools out throughout the whole shop. You can just, you know, I need a set of pliers. Oh, perfect, there's some right there. 
Kids, put your tools away. Your dad will really, really appreciate it. Don't leave his hammer in the middle of the lawn. I don't know who did that. All right, let's try a new spark plug and see if that does anything. Ready? No sparks. All right. Got no sparks. Let's uh, see what this has for points in it. Commission's off. Yes, sir. Okay. Let's have normal. Man, what a pain to get in here. I feel like I'm in jail. I can't see. <laughs> There's electrical tape around it. Look, like, don't replace the points. Just put electrical tape around it. Totally fine. I think we're gonna replace those. I have a set. Be right back. Yes. There we go. Got it. Get in the groove. All right. I'm just gonna set these. By eye. Gotta get it on the. Get it on the. On the lobe of the. Right there. You see that? Right on the lobe of the distributor. Then, you can set your points. Usually I get the screw just tight enough so it holds them, and yet you can still push on the back side of it to get it perfect. Ready? Light it up. Nothing. Hmm. Could be the condenser. I'm going to check. See if this condenser is working. We got power all the time when we're turning it over, then it's not working. I know we had power before. All right. Give me your hand, cameraman. Hold that right there. Let me see if that flashes when we start. It stayed solid. Did it? Yeah. Well, that's not good. It should flash because it's probably a bad condenser. I wouldn't be surprised considering. Is this electrical tape too? Oh, that's that's not good. Look at that. She's cooked. It's probably grounded out, and it's probably probably no good. So I think we'll change that. Hopefully, I have one. I think I do. We have this 914 workbench. That's the nice feel for it. Looks like an old garbage can. What are we going to do?
This has a little buffer. Oh, it's kind of squished in there. There we go. Yes! So we took the condenser wire off. It, it must have grounded it out and melted at one point, and it probably fried this thing. So maybe that's why it was taken off the road in 1974. Also had to turn the distributor about 60, 70 degrees to get it to Want, so I could get the screw undone. And up here. Try to get it out of the way of the other wires here. So I changed the condenser, put new points in it, and checked for spark. We're getting spark. I think we had one bad spark plug. This one wasn't doing anything. I only pulled this one out. I didn't check the other two, but I'm assuming that we should get some spark out of there. I'm trying to fill the flow pole here. Oh yeah, thirsty. Thirsty. I think it's gonna fire right up. Sure it is. Hmm. Little choke action maybe? Yeah. How, how did that taste? Oh man, and all the mouse stuff. <clears throat> oh yeah, look at that. Mm-hmm. Those <laughs> farting noises. I make those noises sometimes. Oh. Choke it again, maybe? I'll give it a little fuel. A little. Yep, choke. Here, you know what, I'll Do get a little 
Give it a little blip. Yep. Not great, but she runs. Okay, uh, time to go home. <laughs>